I mean, you're talking about Ben Affleck, right? Yeah. Wait. Hey guys, this is Dogen here, and today I'm joined by... Jason, otherwise known as Supersonic. Jason and I actually knew each other before coming to Japan through the tricking community. Yeah. Although we didn't know that we knew each other until we <laughs> actually met in Japan. I've been living in Japan a little bit longer than Jason has, and I'd like to test his otaku levels. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this through kind of game show. I'll show the original title of a movie, a Hollywood movie, and Jason will have to guess the correct Gairaigo title. Jason will have to guess the correct Gairaigo title as it was released in Japanese theaters. There will be a grade at the end, so please keep track. Uh, assess your chakra levels Ooh. at the end. <laughs> Number one, Fast Five from the Fast and the Furious franchise. Is the Japanese title Initial D, Brazil Mission, High Gear 5, Wild Speed Mega Max? Well, I actually do know this one. This is... Three, Wild Speed. The correct answer is three, yeah. Wild Speed Mega Max. Though it should be Initial D, Brazil Mission. <laughs> Incidentally, Furious 7 is called Sky Mission. Number two, Teenage Mutant Ninja <coughs> Turtles. Is the Japanese title Teenage Turtles, Mutant Turtles, or number three, Ninja Turtles. So of the three modifiers for turtles, <laughs> if mean, you could drop two, two of them, what could you leave to make it still make sense? Ninja Turtles. Final answer? Final answer. The correct answer is two. Mutant Turtles. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Number three, Wreck-It Ralph. Is the Japanese title Power Up Ralph? Okay. Sugar Rush. Final Boss. Huh. Well, Wreck-It Ralph. Power Up Ralph. The correct answer is... Two, Sugar Rush. The name of the other game in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Final Destination 3. Okay. Is the Japanese title Death Park, Last Doom, Final Dead Coaster? Final Dead Coaster. Yeah, let's go with Last Doom 3, especially if it's already their third movie, mm -hmm. then it, I feel like they should go in order. So yeah, Last Doom 3. The correct answer is three, Final <laughs> Final Dead Coaster. Final Dead Coaster. And Final and Fantasy VIII. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom Train, maybe. Doom. I think it might have been Doom Train. They just like dead things on rails, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. Source Code. Action thriller with Jake... Gyllenhaal. Final Dead Train. <laughs> Mission 8 Minutes. Or number three. Reality Repeat. Mission 8 Minutes. I feel like mission might just be a word that Japanese people might like. Like, it sounds like mission, mission. Yeah, so let's go with, let's go with that. On the money. So, the correct yeah. answer is two. Mission eight minutes. Hey Incidentally, this is a great example of the trend that Jason mentioned of adding mission to movie titles. Sky Mission or Last Mission, the title of the Kevin Costner film, Three Days to Kill, or Double Mission, the title of the Jackie Chan movie, Spy Next Door or Mission 15, the title of the American film Event 15, or Invader Mission, the title of the... Number six, bring it on. Cheers. <laughs> Cheering. Or number three, cheerleaders. Final dead coaster. <laughs> Just because it's the funniest to me, I'm gonna pick number one, cheers. The correct answer is one, cheers. <laughs> cheers. I can't tell if that's really good or really bad. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> number seven, Inside Out, the recent Pixar film is the Japanese title, Little Voices, Big Voices, or number three, Inside Head. Normally I would go with one, Little Voices. Yeah. But that makes too much sense. True. Let's go with Big Voices. Big Voices, Big Things, number two, Big Voices. The correct answer is three, <laughs> Inside Head. Incidentally, this is a prime example of the also common throw grammar out the window trend. <laughs> Another Pixar movie, The okay. Incredibles, ah. is the Japanese title, Mr. Incredible, Superpowers, mm -hmm. or number three, Flying Family. Talk me through your thought process. Okay, well, let's see. Fly, only one of the people in the, in the family can fly, right? 
Something like that. I think so. Yeah, so it can't be Flying Family. Okay. Uh, only one person is Mr. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Number two, Number two superpowers. superpowers. Superpowers, yeah. Okay, because it's about super, super people and superpowers. And... I don't like that look. <laughs> the correct Japanese movie title is... Number one, Mr. Incredible. I threw baby Jack-Jack under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, eh, he's not important. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, the Guillermo del Toro 2010 horror film, okay. is the Japanese title, Grim Ghost, Dark Fairy, In the Darkness. The thing is, I think that in Japan they might try to avoid the, the word the, the second one. Dark Fairy? Dark Fairy, yeah. Final answer? <sighs> Can I call a friend? You could! I... <laughs> Correct answer is two, Dark Fairy. That was, that was good. <laughs> Number 10, The Karate Kid. Number one, Paint the Fence. Number two, Sand the Floor. Or number three, Wax On, Wax Off. Wax On, Wax Off, it has to be. That's like such a big part of... Who's on that? I think this is off. This is off. Yeah, that has to be it. Is two. Sand the floor. I what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> it's actually not. It's called Best Kid. I felt the the set by itself was good enough, even if it was a lie, <laughs> for a laugh. So, uh, ignore this one on your score sheet. At the end, we'll we'll take that into account. Number eleven, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Safe House with oh. Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds mm -hmm. is the Japanese title. Mission Escort, Dangerous House, Dangerous Run. Well, yeah, Mission Escort. Mission escort, like, you know, the word mission. Correct answer for safe house is dangerous run. Ah! <laughs> and number 12, my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. Army of Darkness, the 1992 cult classic from the Evil Dead movie franchise, mm -hmm. is the Japanese movie title. Mm -hmm. Boomstick, my big round gun, Captain Supermarket. <laughs> Boomstick would have to be the obvious choice, mm -hmm. but every time I've been so confident in the obvious choice, it's kicked me right in the eye. So I'm just gonna go with Captain Supermarket. The correct answer is three Captain Supermarket. Why am I right? <laughs> so that's actually it for the Gaidaigo English titles. I tried to keep it somewhat concise to avoid repetition, the various core patterns and trends. Um, that being said, many of the direct translations of Hollywood movie titles into Japanese are equally fantastic. <laughs> so at this point, I'd like to shift from language inbreeding to questionable translations. Incidentally, it seems that many other people have picked up on this trend. A lot of other kind of Japanese interest websites, Tofugu and Rocket News. So if you're interested uh, in Japan, or I encourage you to check them out. Tofugu and Rocket News. The second half of the quiz, direct translations into Japanese. All right questionable translations into Japanese. Continue keeping track of your score for your final grade. If mm -hmm. we dismiss the Karate Kid, this next problem will be number 12. Thanks for sharing. Romantic comedy about a recovering <coughs> sex addict. Recovery. Strange disease. My lover is a sex addict. Strange disease. Let's go with strange disease. The correct answer is three. My lover is a sex addict. <laughs> Just right to the point. Number 13. Classic again, Napoleon Dynamite. Is the Japanese translation Super Senior, Bus Man, The President. If there was an option with a llama, I'd go with that, but let's go with Bus Man. All right, correct answer is two. Hey bus yes. Man. Yes. Number 14, License to Kill. Uh -huh. Is the Japanese translation Murder License, mm -hmm. Forbidden License, The License That Disappeared. Let's go with Murder License. License to Kill, Murder License. I mean, that's pretty straightforward to translate, right? Wait, wait. Yes, safe house was dangerous run. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go with number three. The correct answer is three. <laughs> the license that disappeared. Follow your heart, kids. <laughs> Things will come. Number 15, uh -huh. Thumbsucker, the 2005 independent American drama. Is the Japanese translation, mm. Thumbsucker, can't ever grow up. Thumbsucker, the day and night of my life. Thumbsucker, 17 years old and worried about my future. <laughs> Wait. Let's go number three. 17 and something about can't find my shoes. What was it? <laughs> Me, 17 years old and worried about my future. That, <laughs> yes. The correct answer is three. Me, 17 years old and worried about my future. Why? Moving on, number 16, mm -hmm. Jersey Girl. The comedy drama starring Ben Affleck. I love my father. 
I love my father the best. Aww. I love my father the best in all the world. Aww. I mean, we're talking about Ben Affleck, right? Yeah. And two, a moderate amount of love for him. The correct answer is three. My lover is a sick... I mean, the correct answer oh, is <laughs> three. I love my father the best in the world. <laughs> Please ignore that one. 17. Ah, another Bond film, You Only Live Twice, mm -hmm. is the Japanese translation. Double Life. 007 lives twice. Mm -hmm. 007 dies twice. Uh, going with the opposite meaning. Okay. So let's go with dies twice. The correct answer is three. <laughs> 007 dies twice. Picked up. I guess. Trend. <laughs> <laughs> Number 18. Mm -hmm. Taken. 96 hours. Mission Revenge. I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> mission, let's go with Mission again. Yeah, Mission Revenge. The correct answer is one, 96 hours. He punched somebody through a porthole of a boat. Number 19, Being John Malkovich is the Japanese movie translation. Mm -hmm. Chaos and John. Number two, John Malkovich's hole. Or number three, John's dimensions. Number one, j the... Chaos and John? Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Correct answer is two. No. John Malcolm. No, <laughs> no, you're lying. <laughs> Would you watch a movie called, not even John, not just anybody's hole. Wait. Bonus stage time. Following are original Japanese works that were bestowed with Gai Daigo, so English sounding titles from the get-go. So they were never translated. This was the original title in Japan. It would be like if an American director released a movie in Hollywood that had a Japanese movie title. Memoirs of a Geisha was like Geisha no Omoide or something like yeah. that. Number one, try and find the original name for the following pieces before they were translated for American Western audiences. Resident Evil is the original Japanese title for the series Biohazard, Evil Streets, Apocalypse Zombie. All right, drum roll please. Biohazard. I, I owe it to myself to at least get this one right. The correct answer is one, Biohazard. Last question of the entire quiz, Edge of Tomorrow. Yes, the 2014 film starring Tom Cruise is actually based off of a Japanese comic in kind of the mech suit and oh, okay. time keeps repeating. Is the original Japanese pseudo-English title, Never Ending Death, Live, Die, Repeat, All You Need Is Kill. All You Need Is Kill, let's go with that one. Final answer? Final answer. The correct answer is three. All you need is nice. kill. So with that one, I cheated because I've actually seen that one in bookstores. Okay, guys. Uh, so that's the quiz. Mm -hmm. How many did you get right? I think I got somewhere around 10, 11 ish. There were a total of 22 questions. Mm -hmm. If we don't count Karate Kid, uh, that would be bring down to 21. And we'll also the last two bonus. We'll put the cap at 20. Mm -hmm. So 20 out of 20 would be a perfect score. Are you zero to four correct answers? Uncle Sam. Four to eight correct answers. Occasional chicken teriyaki. <laughs> eight to 12 correct answers. Otaku. Ah. 12 to 16 correct answers. Weeaboo. <laughs> 16 to 20 correct answers. Japanophile. Or 21 to 22 correct answers. Rikudo Senin, Sage of the Six Paths. Or the Jet ALT that stayed behind. Okay guys, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the quiz. If you have any friends that are interested in Japan, feel free to send off the, the link for this video so they can test their chakra levels. And I will see you again next Monday.